Fortnite has always been the biggest game when it comes to in-game cosmetics and playable characters, but how many items are forgotten about or have no set release date? Today, I'm going to be going over every unreleased cosmetic that does not have a known set release date. Before we get started on today's video, if you want to check out my other Fortnite style content, my Destiny 2 content, or my various playthroughs, make sure to subscribe to the channel and stay tuned. And if you want to support me in making more videos like these in the future, my supporter creator code is here on screen. Now let's start with the oldest cosmetics going to the newest. The Visitor GG Spray. This spray was added in Season X of Chapter 1. You can tell that this is the oldest cosmetic because it still has the old brick wall background from Chapter 1, before they remade the version that sticks with the sprays to this very day. The Visitor GG spray was most likely a Battle Pass related item when it was first added into the files, but I think its broad meaning couldn't hint at it finally coming to the game sometime soon, when the Visitor or the Seven in general become relevant to Fortnite again because this ever ended up being a Battle Pass item, and honestly, it's just kinda sat there for a while. The Sad Bunny Spray. This spray was also an old cosmetic from the Season X Times, themed around the skin known as Flap Jackie. Honestly, who knows if this one could release? The only fitting area for it right now is if they remade Flap Jackie somehow, or if they, for some reason, added it as a cosmetic item for ranked rewards. You never know. Up next. Brilliant Bomber. This is the next oldest cosmetic, and funny thing is, it's the oldest cosmetic skin. This one was technically available to some people, but due to Epic removing them from those accounts from a paid exploit, this is no longer obtainable. This skin was available as an exclusive to an annual pass type thing that was going to be available for $70. Yes, $70. But Epic scrapped the idea and released the other skin that came with the bundle known as Bash. But since then, this skin and its backling loons have never released in the game legitimately. Who knows when or if this skin could release someday. I have high hopes for all cosmetics, honestly. The Sad Claps emote. Come on, you can't tell me this won't be available someday. Sad clapping in Fortnite is honestly something I'm surprised we don't have released yet. I mean, I mean, just take a look at the battle pass. We got this is fine popular meme in Fortnite before we got sad clapping. I really do think that this has a chance to release though, especially as a Fortnite ranked reward. Neon Pulse. This rap was added during Chapter 2 Season 2's Top Secret Season. This rap is the only known rap to have multiple color animated reactive styles to it as an outline, which is very surprising that this hasn't been released yet. I feel as though this rap could be one of the next best selling raps for Epic if they released it, or who knows, maybe they will do something unexpected and drop it as a free website or challenge based reward. Either way, I can't imagine that this one is scrapped for good. Older cosmetics have come to Fortnite before, so honestly, this one's no different. The Unicycle Emote. This one's a little interesting. I've heard some claims about this one being scrapped due to referencing bears being made to do this because of like animal cruelty and whatnot. Some claims that this would be a challenge reward. Honestly, all rumors aside, I think this one has the potential to release still because I, despite the fact that there's rumors talking about how it references animal cruelty, like I, how, this, that doesn't make sense. I think this one has the potential to release. I just don't think it'll be a battle pass item or an item shop item. Chances are this is another thing that I could see being a free ranked reward or maybe some sort of Twitch streamer web challenge reward. The Reflector Wrap. This rap was the Silver Surfer's rap from Chapter 2 Season 4 Nexus War. When the Silver Surfer released in the item shop, this rap was nowhere to be found, and after multiple Silver Surfer shop releases, it still has not come out. It's still got the Marvel rarity even in-game. But who knows, if they do intend to release this one, they might just end up releasing it outside of the Marvel rarity, so that they don't have to do the whole Marvel asking for permission thing. But in terms of whether this one could actually come back or not, I'm not sure. The Tag of Doom and Johnny Blaze sprays. These two sprays were also planned to be added during the Nexus War season in Fortnite, sprays themed after Ghost Rider Johnny Blaze and Doctor Doom. Of all cosmetics, these ones are ones I'm afraid might never release. The only way they could bring these back is if they made a new Ghost Rider outfit or created a new bundle and released a new Doctor Doom outfit in Fortnite. They can't bring back Doctor Doom due to his Battle Pass exclusivity, but a new outfit entirely, maybe like a Doom Zero skin? That's the only way I could see them giving the option to release these items. The Far Out Wrap. This wrap is honestly something I'm surprised didn't make it into the original game release. 
With the Far Out Man skin, I assumed that this would go very well with the set, but, you know, it never really released. Pretty weird, to be honest, but like other raps released around the same time, you know, this still could end up being a challenge reward someday. Heartbreakers Spray This spray was added to the files back in Chapter 2 Season 5, Zero Point. At this point, the only way I could see this item coming to the game is with a skin designed similar to or maybe a possible Valentine's Day event reward for any future V-Day events. You know, they've done it before with older cosmetics releasing for Valentine's Day, so they could do it again. Spray away. This spray, themed after Complex, is a pretty interesting one. This doesn't necessarily follow any specific themes, so this one definitely has a chance to come back out into the game sometime, so long as it fits with whatever event theme they make it around. Or who knows? It could just be a ranked reward. The ranked cosmetics do seem to be quite random. Perfect Spectrum. All right, just saying, it's perfect timing to release a rainbow wrap during a season where you have Paradise Meowsles and the fact that it's Pride Month. Pride Month with the same season as a cat skin, this has a chance of coming real soon. If not, epic, what are you doing? <laughs> Come on, this is perfect timing. Big Brain. This emoticon was revealed during Chapter 2 Season 7. Honestly, whether this one comes out or not is entirely tied to Ranked, because at this point, I can't see this fitting in anywhere except Season 7. So, this one might not release. Giddy Up, another emoticon from far, far back in the day around the reveal of Mancake in Season 5. We got this emoticon that was never released, and at this rate, I can't see this one ever releasing because it's straight up just a Mancake emoticon. And Mancake is no longer available to players because he was exclusive to a battle pass. Happy Patty. This emoticon was added in the files and was almost given out as one of the emoticons during the Stream Elements content creator promotions. Some creators were able to sign up as a partner creator for Stream Elements and get emoticons such as the infamous what? emote, which most who didn't know still consider it to be unreleased, but it's not. But the only actual unreleased one of the bunch is Happy Patty. If Stream Elements makes a return and has Fortnite challenges for creators again, this is likely a contender for sure, but who knows? This one could be scrapped for all we know. The Almost There Emoticon. This one definitely seems to be a cosmetic that won't release for anything except for two things. One, Reboot Royale. Or two, something that I would love to see in Fortnite. Something for racing. If that ever does come. <coughs> hint, hint. <coughs> Oof, that was weird. This one was originally released as an item for the Rainbow Racer Reboot a Friend program, and due to the rewards being limited, this one was cut from the selection and remains unreleased. But who knows? If racing does happen, this is a very fitting emoticon for it. Healy Popper. This spray was added as a reward expected to be obtained from the Fortnite birthday event around September 2021. The only good thing about this unreleased cosmetic is that it doesn't display any birthday numbers on it, which means that this spray still has the chance to come out for another birthday event in the future. The Batty Wrap This wrap was added to the files October 12th, 2021. And of course, with it being an October wrap with bats animated across it, why wouldn't we get something like this in the future during a Halloween event? I mean, it seems very likely to happen someday, just not sure when. Cube Cavalry, and Ruler of the Last Reality Loading Screens. Unfortunately, out of all of the cosmetics I would have loved to see in Fortnite, these ones would have been it. Cube Cavalry especially with its crazy good design theme, but alas, with Season 8 of Chapter 2 already having passed by, the only option for these to ever release is if we saw the return of the Cube Queen and the exact monsters and cubes we saw in Season 8. I think the only one out of these two that has a chance to actually make it out into the game is Cube Cavalry. The ruler of the last reality loading screen, that one's likely scrapped for good. Beckoning Crescent. This spray was revealed in Chapter 3 Season 1 with the release of the prominent Battle Pass character known as Ronin. This crescent was his back bling as well during the season. It's a shame to see that this spray never released since it's really cool and honestly would have gone really well with Ronin's set. But likely now, unless they do a Ronin remake, this spray is probably never going to release. Sanctuary Rising. Yet another unreleased cosmetic that seems highly unlikely. This was one of the two Foundation-themed loading screens that had a chance to release in the past, and one of them did, with a Fortnite Collegiate Cup exclusive to college students. But this loading screen didn't release, and due to its heavy reliance on Chapter 3 Season 1 imagery, it's unlikely we'll ever see this one come to the game. Zoological Peacemaker. 
This loading screen out of most that we've seen during Chapter 3 Season 1 is the only one to have no heavy reliance on any themes for Chapter 3 Season 1. It features the Clombo, but a couple chickens and the Cuddle Team Leader and some unrecognizable hill terrain are also present. This honestly could be anywhere on the map, so the likelihood of Colombo's returning could hint at the release of this loading screen someday. Gum Blast, Nash Bash, Flipped, and the Masked Menagerie loading screens. Each of these four loading screens were revealed in the files during Chapter 3 Season 1. Most expected these to be hinted towards Battle Pass items, but every single one relies on characters exclusive to those seasons which means that they may never return. Gum Blast is themed around the Glum Bunny outfit. Nash Bash is themed around Gumbo. Masked Menagerie for Haven. And Flipped is basically just the loading image for Chapter 3 Season 1. Very unlikely that we'll ever see any of these four release. Tunuk Tunuk Tun. This Icon Series emote was themed around the popular song Tunuk Tunuk Tun, a meme song and also iconic Indian pop song. This song and dance done by music artist Dollar Mendy was almost about to release in Fortnite, but due to some controversy with the music artist, the Icon emote never released and most likely never will. Now that we've gone over the most prominent ones, let's go over quickly some other emoticons and sprays that were tied specifically to specific seasons to get them out of the way. All of which that I'm about to mention are likely to never release. Chapter 3 Season 2 Resistance items we may never see. The Order Guard loading screen, the Origins spray, the Welcome to the Resistance loading screen, and the Campaign Begins loading screen. Chapter 3 Season 3 Vibin items we may never see. Tover Escape spray, Dragon Flight spray, Xed Out spray, King's Vision spray, Shining Sword spray, and a Goku exclusive cosmetic, Shocked Beerus. Chapter 3 Season 4 Paradise items that we may never see. Grizzy Grip. Rats was here, silver and gold, and the welcome to paradise loading screen. And finally, the last item on the list that might not be released is the fusion point loading screen, which was supposed to be exclusive to the fusing of the island event at the end of chapter three. Now, here's a list of the remaining cosmetics that could be possible to come to the game as a released item in future website challenges, in-game quests, or upcoming ranked rewards. Rather than talking about each one, I'm just going to showcase every single one on screen with their names. The Nanorjam Emoticon, Jones in Action Spray, Sonic Smile Emoticon, The Blocko Spray, The Boxer Pup Emoticon, The Chocomint Ghoul Spray, The GG Chilled Emoticon, The GG Cuddled Emoticon, GG Glow Emoticon, Shopping Run Spray, Spooky Squared Spray, the Bedside Nanner Back Bling, the Peely Jamas Wrap, Burning Up Spray, the Folk Floral Wrap, the Frenzy Emoticon, which most likely is specific to Reboot Royale in the future, Glowy Zoe Emoticon, a possible FNCS reward, Rift and Solo Tour Emoticons, the Swirly Complex Emoticon, Wavy Team Leader Emoticon, the No Sweat Summer loading screen, which is possible to return with a No Sweat Summer event or as a we're sorry this bug happened reward like the rap was. Catalyst Cutter Spray, Fade and Dagger Spray, First Enforcer Spray, the Tiger Scythe Spray, the Eight Lives Down loading screen, the Eek Emoticon, the Happy Cat Emoticon, the I See You Emoticon, the Maslanitsa Backbling, Tied Up in Trouble Spray, Watch the Drip Spray, Drippin' Dizzy Spray, Over Yonder Spray, Roasted Emoticon, A Night Out Loading Screen, Fox Clan Wave Spray, Static Bash, Crack Shot, Cuddle Team Leader, and Punk Sprays, The Sweet Sliced Peel Spray, The Under the Teethle Toe Spray, and The Chomp Chocolate Spray. Now I'm going to show some possible Reboot Royale items or maybe PS Plus Pack items. The Blizzard's Bite Pickaxe, the Volpez Outfit, which was originally named the Winter Warrior Phoenix, the Outfoxed Wrap, the Trickster's Charge Spray, and the Warrior's Unite Emoticon. I also have a couple of other items that also could release very soon. The Heartfelt Emoticon, the Island Icons 2 Loading Screen, the Love Jester Spray, the Neon Payback Spray, Guaco Droppo Spray, the Guffy Drop Spray, the Rift Cruiser Loading Screen, the Llama Drop Spray, 
and the squeezy does it emote. Now, I wanna talk about one last thing. There are two skins called Alias and Caper. They both are unreleased outfits with a super high amount of reactivity. They have a ton of sprays built in that allow for multiple spray patterns to be used on their skins. There's been rumors of these outfits to be fully scrapped, but until official confirmation comes through, I probably won't believe it. These outfits come with the following sprays if I've done my research correctly. No, I'm not going to name all of them because there is a lot, so here's every single one of them on the screen. This is a lot of sprays, exclusive to these skins for sure, so if the skins do release, every spray does too. Now for some exclusive items we may never see for this specific season that we just came out of, Chapter 4 Season 2 Mega. The Vital Highwire Spray, the Unimpressed Imani Spray, and the Welcome to Gia Spray. And finally, some items we haven't seen yet that have a very high possibility of releasing this season or sometime soon. Reactor Thrasher, which was seen to have been a possible Save the World Pack pickaxe. Dawning, Midnight, and Sunfall Scythes. The Winged Cavalry Backbling, which was originally supposed to be a creative map exclusive and then never was. The Roaming Ramen, Sweet Dango, and Takayaki Treat items. The Grind Speed Wrap. Velocity Edge, which was supposedly an Amazon Luna promo item. The Vivi Chroma unreleased outfit with her Scribbles back bling. And the Cuddle Mania Claws back bling and the Code Shear Cloak back bling. All other unmentioned unreleased items that I have listed anyway already have a set release date such as the Headstone Spray and the Maximize Emoticon. I hope you all enjoy my detailed look at every unreleased cosmetic in Fortnite and my supporter creator code is on screen if you wish to support me. Thank you everyone for watching this video and I hope this is informative on what's not released in Fortnite Season 3.